<clears throat> Coming to you live from Blowjob Headquarters, this is my Drunk Uncle's Podcast with Bobby Flacco and Uncle Laser. Ladies and gentlemen, how the hell are we doing this evening or morning or afternoon? Yeah, chopping, we're chopping fucking prices. You know what I'm saying? Rolling back Walmart. Shout out for not wanting to sponsor us. Uh, let's hey, let's address the elephant in the room right here. How should we? Uh, if you take a gander right here, right here. Uh, hey, listen, we're, we're coming. Okay? Yeah. And if you want to come with us, you want to sponsor this motherfucker. Uh, we'll put something on. We'll put you on. We won't be as good as this cardboard, but we'll get you a nice banner made up. But people are they're bidding for this. Prices are going up. It's like fucking eBay. You can buy it now, price, or you don't have the lens off of that camera. <laughs> this is why I hate this motherfucker. We're also looking for a new pot. We're also looking for a new producer too, because he's a piece of trash. <laughs> this right here. Could be yours. Prime real estate on the pod for the whole fucking episode. You can log in a contract. Mm. You can lock in pretty much anything. Everything costs a dollar. Everything costs what you think it'll cost. But everybody's bidding on it. Shit's getting outrageous. So get it. Everybody, you, yo, everybody you wants to buy what you're selling. They just got to know you have it, baby. Hey, and That's everything it. can be sold for a price. Bow. You know what I'm talking about? Bow. Dropping wisdom. Anyways, let's get to it today. Um, we're going to go ahead and start with our our, spo- our only sponsor currently at the moment, and that is Reddit, the sub of Reddit. Uh Look, your hate makes us better, dude. We're, ter- we're terrible at comedy, we know, but uh, we're taking over the world. They hate you. Oh, they hate me. But I love it because all the comments got us like, what, 450 more subscri- uh, su- subscribers on the YouTube? So keep saying that name, baby boy. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking losers. Ah. Those people nah, say it's cool, man. I'm just going to kill myself like Eli Harper shot at him. But, hey, listen, <laughs> uh, he's in Thailand right now working on uh, comedy. He's going to take over the... Uh, the lady boy world, and I can't be more proud of him. He's you know working on saying? a tight five out there. You know what I'm saying? Tight five, oh. tight five year old boy. All right. Um, anyways, let's get uh, started here. Bobby, tell us about your weekend. Uh, it was great, man. We went back home. I appreciate you giving me a ride to see my folks. Uh, yeah. We went down south. Uh, not a whole lot there, but definitely good to see family and old fucking friends, dude. Yeah. It was nice. It was nice to eat some good fucking food. It was. It was a Texas Cali. Yeah. It's like a goddamn Philly Texas cheesecake. Cali, shots out to Young's Pizza in Kingsville, Texas. Yep. Gas Sponsor station, the pod. Gas station food at its finest. You then took us to a Pampers party that was a complete fucking sausage fest. Can you take <laughs> us through that? That was real nice of you. <laughs> I didn't know that's what we were going to pull God up to, damn, dude. But goddamn. We, we, did... we walked right into the lion's demo. Oh, that man. Yeah. And they had crawfish right. that they claimed they had cooked, but it was like fucking 14 hours old, so it was slimy and cold and crazy. Let me say this, dude, because I know we both have gravelly voices, and I, I actually read the comments as I've been instructed not to to by you know i mean yeah, some of my predecessors but i can't help it i just love like it. you can't fucking help it yeah but the thing is dude we just that's how we, we fucking met because of our vernacular being somewhat similar yeah. you know what i mean i was like wow he sounds like the demon in my head yes you know what i mean yeah so if you haven't been to texas stop saying that i sound like uncle fucking laser i've been alive longer than this guy yeah. dude I'm tired of being Uncle Fester but look at me <laughs> yeah you know saying cousin it and Uncle Fester here we fucking are yeah dude yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah, it was tied in Kingsville. A uh, couple shows uh, coming up. Uh, we got a fucking great podcast. We got a fucking stellar guest. But first, we're going to get to the other elephant in the room, and that is this Fred Flintstone cutoff shirt oh, you got rocking go, right here. I mean, Jesus what Christ! Listen, I know you don't have a car right now, and I know the car you do have. You have to like pedal with your feet, like in the goddamn <laughs> show. You fucking uh, bitch! You know what I'm Why don't saying? You let everybody see your fucking ex girlfriend's vans. Whoa, <laughs> dude! She left them so, in my car. They're mine now, dude. Size six. Dude. Whoa, dude! Relax. Oh, dude. Dude. Yeah. So, anyways, I can barely, fucking vans, kids. I can barely reach the floor right here. You know what I'm saying? Those but, Under Armour, dude. That's that's like a fucking branch off of Balenciaga. What are you? Oh my fucking, Lord, dude. What are you? What are you, gay? I no, like, but uh, the Euler hat looks good. That's a nice touch. It is. I it didn't is. realize someone just took a sticker and put it on that hat, but shout out to my boy from Get Me There at Waco. That's a nice little setup <laughs> right there. <laughs> is that what it is? Yeah. I thought it was like stitched in. I, I think it's like, remember when you get the baseball jerseys where you literally have to like fucking iron on your patch? Yeah, I think it's that's coming they, off. Though. Yeah, well, it's very, someone slid into home plate with that, if you know what oh, I'm saying. Oh my, my God. God. What's going on? This but, uh, is a, definitely whenever the Oilers were in Houston, though. Oh, 100%. Which goes back. I, yeah, could yeah, smell, yeah. I could smell the years. Yeah, you know what that actually is? That's a Derrick on a drilling rig, like the long thing that stands up. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that was Why the, they call it Oilers, I never, they don't ever use that term out in the actual field. I've never heard it used, but. Oh, <laughs> this was like in the 80s, bro. But what? 
Oh yeah, in the eighties. Got the Sherbert Puma still on. You still you haven't taken those off. You don't even have socks on, so that's incredible. Yeah, well I just got out well, of Well you uh, have gray sweatpants too, so what the fuck you should my ears are cotton. I did hot yoga. What are yours? Fucking polyester? Polyester blast. Is that what they are? They are polyester, yeah. Well, they're Under Armour, and they don't even fit you tight because you have little weird legs. Oh, my God. Bird legs. <laughs> there you go. Your feet aren't even touching the ground, dude. Uh, all right. Let's get to it here. We got a pretty exciting show today. Um, we got one of the hottest up-and-coming Austin. He's probably the best Austin comic in the scene. He's one of the fucking up-and-coming fucking just... He's coming for the throne, ladies and gentlemen. He's an absolute wild man. We've got the Austin Crab in the fucking house. I couldn't be more fucking excited to hear his goddamn backstory. The Spoon Man of Spoons! Y'all get it up for the fucking always entertaining, always incredible fucking Casey Rocket. Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Spoon yeah, Man! Spoon Man! Oh, nah. There he What's is. Up, there he is. What's up? Welcome to the jungle, baby. If you're hungry, there's. If you want anything, there's a Denny's menu right there. We'll order out. Gary will go and go pick it up. Tasty stuff. Three, Eight, two, one. <laughs> Boom! Oh my, God. <laughs> my God, Casey, thanks for being here today, bud. Happy um, to be here. Hooray. You, don't, you don't have to use these headphones. We don't really do either, but just make sure your mic's closed. You know, or you take it all. Hell, fuck it, dude. Whatever y'all think is best, whatever, whatever you boys do, you're the coolest. How's life, man? <laughs> <laughs> y'all are the coolest. What? Uh, tell me about it. How's life? How's everything going? Shit. Good. Will you kick your feeties again? That was funny. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> that feels good, doesn't yeah. it? I like that. That was good. No, yeah. I saw them in sli those slides on you yesterday were fucking scary looking. Well, my toenails are as long as talons. I, I <laughs> use them to pick up mice when they run across yeah. the floor. That's why you got to ah! your size too big because the fucking toenails need some room to Well, no, I got to grow into them, dude. I'm still growing and shit, growing boy. Yeah, gotta, look at Casey getting uncomfortable. Like, so, so what's gulch. up, man? Tell the people, tell the folks who don't know you a little bit about yourself. I mean, where you come from, where you're going, how you been? Happy to do it. Happy to be here doing it. <laughs> happy it. Happy it's going, man. <laughs> you happy. already know what it is. Ha ha ha. <laughs> yeah, yay. Uh, Very shit. cool. Yeah, I stayed up all night last night writing Santa songs again. You know how that goes, <laughs> brother. <laughs> Making their Christmas debut. Yeah. 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 You can never, you can never start too early for Christmas shopping or Christmas jingles. Christmas jingles. Summon him in the way that I got. I got. Well, you want me to sing you one real quick? Yeah. No. Please. 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 Uh, um. <laughs> Santa, we need you. Uh, uh. Santa, my cock is your cathedral. <laughs> My ass is your steeple. Yeah. Take me now. So that's just the first yeah, verse. No, but no, no, no. Hey, hey, I love good. that. I love Believe that. it or not, that took nine hours. So I was up. <laughs> Dude, the till, Wiccans are going to love that. Hey, you yeah. St. Nicholas fucking God worship. And yeah, fucking, yeah, it's borderline a ritual. Yeah. yeah. So how many uh, how many shows are you running in town right now? You got, what, <laughs> two or three every every night during the week? Just uh, how many do I do? Yeah, how many, I mean, how many do you actually run? Do you put on, or, or, or I guess how many are you doing a, a, a night a week? Hell, I mean, answer, <laughs> like, ask a real fucking question. Like, that was like seven <laughs> questions that didn't ever finish. I, I do two shows. I do a monthly show, Rocket and Friends. And then I do a riff show with Netflix's Michael Fractor. Where oh, you riff shit. and riff and riff. Riff and riff and riff. And riff. Riff Raff Nation. My God. <laughs> and sure, where are you from originally? I'm from North Georgia. I'm from Ball Ground. Ball Ground, Ball Ground. Georgia. How far is that from the Falcons? 45 minute hour. Do you enjoy the Falcons or? Uh, yeah, more? I grew up an Eagles fan, but. Oh, fuck. Sorry about the Super Bowl. I only lost 14K. No big deal. <laughs> Yeah. That's that's big loss. Yeah, it's yeah, huge. Yeah. We, just find that we might not financially recover from this. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, that's more money than I've ever even fucking heard of. Yeah. I I now I have a little bit. I have like enough money to pay my bills. But like a year ago, I was so broke. And I remember I got like eighty bucks for a show or something. And my I went out to my girlfriend Cat and I was like, are "You fucking like? Are you serious? You see this? Are you fucking? Sick? You ever seen so much money in your entire uh, fucking life?" Yeah. Fourteen hundred thousand dollars. That's unbelievable. Sorry about it. Yeah, you know what happens I, I, when they're up ten zero. I'm really thinking, oh, or you know, we're up by halftime by ten points. I'm like, oh yeah, we're gonna be fine. Yeah, we'll be fine. And then I just, I think you like gambling more than you are good at it. I like That's just the facts. I like gambling more than I like anything in life. Anything. Gotta I love just to love I'm the complete bitch. opposite. Yeah, I know. Well, you gambled with that shirt today. You really did. Because <laughs> I mean, what are you doing, dude? How many boxes about? of cereal tops you have hey, to you send in to get a shirt like that? I'm going to leave and feed my brontosaurus. You know okay, what I mean? Get the fuck out of my face. Hey, uh, <laughs> what, uh, so uh, 
You were living in your car there for a little while, weren't you? Yeah, I lived that's in a the real old, thing. The old humble steed. Yeah, I lived in the <laughs> fucking Florida Escape, man. Uh, just outlaw lifestyle. Yeah, yeah, fucking. Did you put an air mattress in, or are you just kicking back in them seats? Nah, bro, they're just putting the seat down. God damn, yeah. that's an <laughs> uncomfortable sleep, though, my guy. Permanently crooked. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it fucked my yeah damn. Equilibrium's got to be fucked now, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, I feel like Lucille too. Arrested Development, uh, whatever. Uh, yeah, but yeah, fuck my spine up, man. Uh, fucking egg. Jesus Christ. Crazy stuff. <sighs> Where do you get this guy? That's actually Dean. That's a red heart. He actually wants it back, and him and Gary are on a fucking lawsuit battle right now over it. It's like <laughs> like for custody of it. We're going to get it on the weekends and for the podcast, and Dean will take it the rest of the time. Small claims? Small claims court. I can't talk about it. No. Nah. <laughs> Understood, brother. Good to see you. Uh, so you do a podcast. We had William on last week, but you and him are doing a podcast. How long have y'all been doing a podcast together? Uh, I've been doing William since like July, I think, co-hosting that. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's been real fun. Big red machine. Yeah, what so a guy. funny. What a guy, dude. He smells like cinnamon all the time. It smells so good. So good. <laughs> dude, so good. He Every- looks good too, bro. He just keeps looking better. He just better. keeps losing weight. I'm happy I mean, he's for him, get, he's, he's getting fucking swollen. Kind of buff, and this is real. Looking yeah. strong. It's what happens when you lift weights and don't go to yoga. <sighs> I mean, what are you talking about? Yeah, but now he looks great. No, he does look good. Um, Every time I see him, he has like a different medical like like. And he's like, "Yeah, I was doing too many nicotine pouches. My fucking tongue's bleeding." <laughs> yeah, it's like always like, so, like, dude, I fucking shit out a race car like Ryan Dunn last night. <laughs> like, what the fuck's going on? Man? Uh, shit, he's the king. Shit, man, he knows what he's doing. <laughs> All right, so take me, take me through, uh, take me through your like your your humble beginnings and humble abodes. How did you start? When did you start? How'd you? What got you into comedy? What gets you there going? I mean, what's your? What really gets you off and gets you on? Oh, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. When I when I get nervous, I notice I've noticed this about myself. I try to make myself smaller, like <laughs> like, like almost it. like an animal <laughs> mechanism. Like, yeah, no, that's crazy, man. So <laughs> <laughs> fucking porcupine. <laughs> Just Holy poly. <laughs> hide the vital organs. Uh, I don't know, man. Yeah, I started doing co- uh, comedy at Georgia Southern, okay. Statesboro, Georgia. Uh, Statesboro, Georgia. Went we did love. it. Did you go to college out there? Yeah, I what graduated. What did you major in, dude? Or did J- you graduate? Journalism. What a fucking guy. Journalism. Are you serious? Yeah. I got a journalism degree. Yeah, me too. Yeah, it's worthless. Yeah, I know. I never. Yeah, I never even thought about you. It's like we're well. It's over. Yeah, we're, we did that. Time to work at Domino's. Yeah. Uh, and then what? So you just start riffing out there, kind of catching your own vibe. And then when did you move to Austin, or what happened? Yeah, I would do like school talent shows and stuff at Georgia Southern, and I think I was the only comedian on the only person who did comedy there. So there would be open mics, and it was battle of the bands. Yeah, South Georgia. So everybody's playing country music, and then I would go up and. Fucking whatever, just, sing sh- "Chandelier" by Sia, and it was just <laughs> totally silent. Yeah, I remember one of the probably the second time I ever did, I was singing "Chandelier" by. And nothing's changed. This is like eight years ago. Yeah, and I was singing "Chandelier" by Sia, and it was totally quiet. And there was like a hundred people in there, mm-hmm. and this woman in the back went, "What does he even think he's doing?" Uh, and I think about that quite often. Do you? Yeah. And I, God damn. I know what I'm doing. You don't know what yeah, she doing. don't know. That, yeah, those bitch. fucking moments are monumental. What yeah. is she even doing at a fucking high school talent show? Yeah, what is she doing? Get yeah. a job, yeah. lady. Yeah, Carol. Why don't, you go, why don't yeah. you go have a beer, Carol? Carol? Why don't yeah. you go find some fucking temp dick? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, fucking weird. Style, yeah. Leave my man alone. Yeah. So when do you, how does it stretch from there? Do you, <laughs> you pile up in the Ford Escape, you say, fuck it, I'm coming off. What, 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 circa? What year is this roundabout when you're doing the... When did you make your Ford Escape? Yeah. When, hey, <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> um, That would have been... I graduated in 2017, so I started doing it in 2015. Then I moved to Atlanta for like eight months. Then I moved to Boise for like three years. Oh, Idaho. shit. What's in Boise? I just went to visit a buddy, and I started dating a girl. They had a club out there, so I was doing the club, and the pandemic happened. Then I just, I heard Austin was good, so I just got in the car and just drove down. You drove from Boise? Yeah. Son of a bitch. That's yeah. a good long drive for a, for a Ford Escape. Yeah, packed it out, fucking uh, slept Walmart parking lot, six, seven month. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> Which Walmart? <laughs> Not that long ago. Uh, it's like a year ago, <laughs> living in a Walmart parking lot. Uh, 
Brody, Brody Lane. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, a Brody. Good that's a good one, dude. That's a good, that's one. A good that's one. It's a super center. They, uh, <laughs> yeah, they have a garden section. Yeah, yeah, it's just badass. Green, so bro. you're like, you're all or nothing. You're all in with it. You just fucking, dude, that's goddamn. You got to trust the riffs, man. Yeah, I was like, trust if I can just riffs. get out there, everything will be okay. Plus, there's nothing left in Boise, so I was like, we'll just figure it out, man. And in many ways, we did. You do. You do, do you miss Boise ever from time no. to time? You miss that girl? It's boring. No. No, especially not. <laughs> hey, uh, a, little, um, a little rude. What was I going to say here? Uh, so, how does one look? If y'all haven't seen Casey Rocket on stage, you fucking sure will after this. But he's a madman. It's different. I, I don't know anybody with your style. I don't know what you pull from your style. Where do you? How do you come up with your? Were you always like that all over the place? Were you a traditional stand up comic? Were you ever just talked into them, or did you move around like that all the time? Were you? Were you that guy right out of the gate, or is that something you just kind of formulated as you as you got comfortable? Uh, I think it started like that, and then I went through different variations of, I think when you you start, you kind of conform in a way, you're like, oh, this isn't working, so I went through a little while where I tried to just do one-liners, maybe like six months, and then I would try to tell stories. Just not, yeah, just, well, yeah. you weren't feeling it, right? Like, that's just your natural... Yeah. Wanting to move, right? And that's, walk yeah, that's just kind of how I am. Fuck yeah. That, that's, I mean, that's how I am when I'm fucking, when I'm drinking, I can't stop riffing. So that's how it, you know, it's bah, da, da, bah, bah. <laughs> yeah. For better or worse. So it's just like that. Yeah, just tapping into the fucking primal gills. What up? Uh, you, you don't, you no longer drink anymore. No. What, uh, so, cause I guess Will doesn't drink either, but we were drinking, we were slamming beers right in front of him. I thought, Barry, uh-huh. do we have any beers in here? <laughs> yeah, you offered him one. Well, yeah, you, you gotta be nice. <laughs> Yeah, but you know he he's not a recovering alcoholic. He's just sober. Okay, right? I mean, man, you know, hell, I don't. I mean, is it is that rude? Where I'm from, you offer a man a beer if you don't. You know, uh, yeah, yeah, I get, you know, I get it. Right? We got lava lamp juice if you want some of that too. Plus, yeah. you never know if he wants to go <laughs> off the wagon. That could be his day. Bob, is there anything in here? There's nothing in there. Is there any beers down there, Gary? There's none. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna kill We said we were gonna drink today. <sighs> yeah, we oh, always bye that bye. shit. And we never. Yeah, no, no, no. But we could drink afterwards, dude. You know what? That's why I got you here for shit like that. We're good. No beers. There's no beers anywhere in this household. <clears throat> Kyle, I know Kyle's got tequila Kyle's somewhere. Alcohol. Oh, yeah, he's I, got a bottle of tequila. Or hey, something. Can we jump. We just see if we got some. Check, yeah, hey. check under his covers. I bet he's got both. <laughs> yeah, that's what he is. check under his covers. Guys, I know Kyle. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, I don't know who that is. No, no, well, no, no hey, dude, we're not gonna know much nailed. longer either. No, he's gonna die. Do you have? Oh, really? He wrote Gary a suicide letter yesterday. Yeah, a text message. I should say suicide text message. Oh, for real? Well, that's basically a fucking modern day letter. Yeah. Do you even know how to address a letter? To whom it may concern. But I mean, like, to, yeah. to, to actually address it, to <laughs> send it. <laughs> I'm fucking kill myself later. <laughs> Bye-bye, Kyle. Bye. Yeah. Young, no. young Kyle. I just sent yeah. my mama uh, something in the mail the other day, and I didn't even know how to address a letter. Like, where it would the... I mean, I know you got to put a stamp on it, but, like, I had to Google, like... What you? What the name? What name goes first? What you know? The county? Yeah. Parish. What a dumbass. Parish. I love it though. But at least, hey, at least you're you're honest. Look, dude, I'm beginnings, just, bro. Just a guy. I miss my puka shell necklace. This like, as I see myself on camera, I'm like, that's what this fit is missing. Now I do. Feel oh, a puka shell be or a fucking shark tooth with the leather oh, strap. Oh, shark tooth be hard. slamming right How now. How about buddy? a puka shell with a shark tooth in the middle? Oh, not no, dumb trouble. Know. Pop it in there. The old Myrtle Beach wedding ring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, baby. Yes, yes. Uh, but no, Gary, for real, if he's got tequila down there, if you bring it up, so I can sit right here, maybe we get a sponsor. I have not. Kyle! <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> anyways. Uh, he's the worst, dude. Well, I don't think you understand, dude. You know, oh, my he, God. He's no. been. Uh, he, so <laughs> check this out, Casey. We were here the other day doing a little editing, and uh, Bobby comes in. <laughs> And Kyle has uh, Bobby's new single, the Nether Hour single, Whiskey and Water, blaring and plays it six times in a row while Bobby is no, in the facility. No, no, was it- no. It was on repeat before you guys got here. Okay. For well, an I, hour and a half, When, when I When I walked in, it <laughs> was- I never want to hear that song again, dude. Yeah. <laughs> and, and so, I, we, and there's a hey, line run there. run up them so- streams, though. Run up them streams, though. <laughs> yeah, run up the streams. But see, Kyle's been drinking whiskey and water for the past two weeks, and I just don't think you understand how bad of an alcoholic he is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's bad. Well, especially whenever there's cocaine involved. They go hand in hand. I've been trying to say this. No one fucking seems to believe me, but when it's 6 a.m. in the morning, we're in somebody's garage talking about God and politics with the pizza guy there's something wrong <laughs> something is wrong anyways let's get back to Casey's story do you enough about your puka shell necklace I got a guest on please get Bobby hold your <laughs> question comments for later um, so you move down to Austin <laughs> you're living at the Walmart we've been there we've all been there 
You know? Yeah. <laughs> Yours had a garden section. That's cool. Mine didn't. Um, ours didn't even have sliding doors. You had to like physically, it was like a like a regular door with a door on. <laughs> you can't even see inside. <laughs> yeah, I had no glass. I don't even think it was a Walmart now that I think about it. But uh, no, uh, so you're, you're chilling there all of a sudden and then it starts taking off. You start getting more gigs. Or just tell me the, the upward trajectory or the plan or how it slingshotted you into stardom. <laughs> God, I hate this. <laughs> I hate talking about this. Stuff. Uh, yeah, man. I don't know. Just doing uh, DoorDash and stuff, and nice. living in a car. But then I won the Austin comedy contest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the sunset. sunset. Yeah, shout out, Adam. Um, rest in peace. Rest in peace. <laughs> so that gave me a little bit of money. Wait, that was after. So I, I got. I don't know, man. I, yeah, I got an apartment. <laughs> I got an apartment. <laughs> Something happened. Yeah, I was able to save money or something. I got an apartment, <laughs> so I li- started living with this comic. The, yeah, then I met Kat, so yeah, I live with her. Yep, whatever, man. Nice, dude. Hey, hey, good. Casey, what it, when you're what good, it, you're fucking good, bro. Casey, would it, would it be more comfortable? Do you want to do six inside? Can we do six inside? Man, needs a cigarette. He's jilted <laughs> for a cigarette. I, mean, I don't I, have look, to. Hey, hey, you've asked me a lot of stupid shit in my life, but that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> no, of course, of get, course we can smoke in here. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. Casey, would you, you like to light me? a cigarette up? We can smoke yeah, in here? Yeah, yeah, dude. Dude, this is my attic. All right, look at my man. He we can do whatever we want, dude. Right here. He's he a, back. We have a well, cigarette after those, here. After those fucking dumbass questions that everybody asks him, we're supposed to be doing something unique yeah. here, bro. Yeah, seriously. I'm if, looking out right, for you, man. You, I'm you know what? I'll never this. come with a stupid question. Casey, what's your favorite drug that you used to do? <laughs> Go. Oh, God. That's a good question. Goddamn right. We'll get, we'll get to the meat and potatoes. Hey, question. you got to preheat the oven before you fucking cook dinner, boys. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, I'm getting We're preheating the oven. Yeah. yeah. It's preheating like a motherfucker. You know, I'm hot as shit. Yeah, it is really hot. You're not hot. Heat not rises. Hot. Get irritable. Now let's go, dude. Are we going three episodes that? in. We're going shit. I, oh, nice, dude. That's, yeah, what the, the, that's what they want, dude. That's the ventilation up here is fucked up. You can ask Bob, dude. But we should smoke at least. Yeah, I don't know why you keep asking uh, me that. Do you have any kind of ashtray sitting here? Hey, hey, the list of things that we can't do up here is, is a better Outside question. of murder? <laughs> Outside of murder? Hey, even murder. Hey, yeah. The only thing that we can't do up here is have the fucking dog up here, apparently. You no, 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 but I don't it's, like it. It's sniffing me. Hey, you were driving me insane <laughs> all I, morning. I, I look, I don't hate dogs. I hate your dog. You know what I'm That's saying? That's not but my fucking exactly. dog. Exactly, so you should hate it too. What I'm saying is, <laughs> listen to me. Whoa. Well, cool story here. This is why these are the worst type people in the world, all right? When you go to a party and there's like those girls that are obsessed with dogs and just want to lay down and pet those dogs and like just play with them dogs, no bullshit. I knew a girl in high school that was like that big animal lover, right? And they were tripping acid at Bonnaroo and they go back to old boy's house and she has this fucking German shepherd that does not like people, but she's trying to warm up to it, trying to feed it under the couch or under the coffee table. And that dog lashes out and bites her on the fucking face, (laughs) rips her fucking cheek off of her fucking like jawbone flapped over and they're all, they're all tripping acid, mid acid trip. They couldn't even drive the car to the fucking hospital, they had to take a bike and put her in the front like E.T. and fucking pedal her ass to the mercy room and just left her there. Dropped her off. Dropped That's her off. She's still the there. Acid. She's still there, brother. She Yeah, she never... No, actually, funny thing is, I actually saw her about a year ago and she told me that story that that happened. It could, but I was like, "What? Do you, there's no scar. She has like this uh, skincare product. They did the restructure. And she put like this, I guess they get it from like little baby wieners, like when they're first born, like this little yeah, skin the stuff. Skin. The foreskin shit. Sandra Bullock can't sauce. Even, can't even tell that it's there anymore. It blew my fucking gourd. Miss cum geniality. Miss you know, cum geniality. Hey, let me tell you something. Like that. Like like that up. Okay, I'll find you. Hey, yeah, spark those up, man. Hey. Smoke two at a time if you want. We should be sponsored by foreskin cream because I'm trying to look as young as I can for as long as I can. And uh, that's just... What it is in this fucking Can you showbiz, zoom in on this? baby? Can we take a gander at this right here? This is the worst thing. What in the fuck is going on right here? Oh my god! Whoa. What is that? That's a tumor. That's why it's on my Adam's <laughs> apple. I didn't know you could get fucking ingrown hairs or pimples. Hey, on move, your, move your fucking that's why head. You, is that why you sound like that? Dude? It's a mel- it's a melanoma. Uh, so what do you think that is? Is it really cancer? No, it's it's an ingrown hair. I popped it last night, but you know when they're not ready. Uh, here, move move again, so I can get it on camera here. Get a zoom in on that no, thick I, thing, Casey. I got a crash zoom. Hey, put Crash some zoom on that on thick that. thing. <laughs> when y'all were growing up, my mama used to just put a toothpaste <laughs> on the pimples. We yeah, that, that shit, make, that shit that would shit, just aggravate them. It would aggravate the fuck out of them, and it probably won't do yeah, anything. Just, get there's got to be an ashtray somewhere over here. Uh, there's oh, an man. ashtray. Uh, yeah, just ask it on the desk, man. Oh, here, just dude, ask hey, it over on the desk. That's Dean's race car. Don't, don't ask it on Hey, here's the ash mug. Here, give me. Oh, yeah, the ash mug. Here, hand me that beer. I'm going to smoke one, too. Fuck it. Oh, the ash mug. Hand me that beer. I'll take that 
How could I have forgotten about the ash mug? <laughs> Throw me a beer can. Or, or let me get this beer What's can. What's that? No, just ash on the desk, man. It's cool. No, 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 worry oh, about sure. it. Yeah, I stole that desk out of Kyle's room this morning. Shout out, uh... Shout out to Shout Kyle. out Bobby's lover. <laughs> I, dude, I think Kyle wants to blow you. Yeah, I don't 100%. think you understand, Bobby. I just don't think you understand how much it is he wants you. you leave him, dude. Okay. Love Anyways, uh, Casey. <laughs> yeah, man. So I you're got, completely sober. You're completely shot. sober now, right? <laughs> I'm totally sober. I and think. is that just personal choice, or you're just like, yo, I need to get it together, or what's going on here, <laughs> I have a severe substance abuse problem. Last time I drank, I was I was with Gary. We drank. Yeah, he talked about it. He's like, dude, yeah. no, he, he, fucking Casey. Have you ever smoked a foily? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> have you have you based with the boys before I've or no? Smoked, yeah, I smoked crack. You yeah, based down. down. God yeah, damn, I've done it all, man. baby. Spoon man. Hey, can you throw me that cigarette laser? Used to do. Uh, the one, no, the one that's lit. I don't want to yeah. light another one. You don't want to light another one? <laughs> Here, will you pass, take one down, pass you, it You can just throw it. I, I'll catch it. I got good hands. No, but yeah, so after that, yeah, I woke up and I didn't have my phone or my wallet. And uh, dude, I've been to detox for alcohol many times and stuff, but it was that not having the phone and wallet. And I was living in my car. So you're like, fuck. So yeah. I, I was like literally flying blind. Because I'm like, now I'm just a literal homeless person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a difference between being an artist and like, whoopsie daisy, we just crossed a very thin line. Yeah. You're a homeless man yeah. now. And so I had to like look for my phone all day and I was like, dog, I'm too old for this shit. I was hungover for like three days. I was like, dude, I'm just too old for this shit. Yeah. 27 years old. I'm 28 now. 28? Yeah. Just, dude, I'm sometimes it just old, Sometimes it just click. One bad little blackout about, that, night. That, yeah. that, that's about the age where I clicked out my bullshit, bro. Oh, it was, oh, it was oh, definitely oh, the 27, oh. 28 range. 26, I started to kind of see. But that's whenever it really hit me was about like 27. Dude, but I still... I always, you always have that one in the chamber, though. Like when it was supposed to be one of them nights, you know how to do it. Or at least you think you know how to do it. And then you get there. And you're just like, wait, what, what are we fucking doing here? Oh, what, yeah, what like whenever doing? you took acid and you fucking tried to friend me, dude. Stop, dude. <laughs> oh, man. You gave me, about nobody that. likes you, me. You gave me way too much acid, dude. <laughs> he said, nobody likes me. And then I thought, I thought going home to the house and taking MDMA would make me feel better, and it did not. It made it way worse. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. That's not yet. I shit myself the other night on Molly, though. <laughs> like, shit my bed like a squirty shit, like a little poop thing. And I thought somebody played a joke on me. Like, what? yo, somebody shit my bed. While like, you were asleep, somebody came in there and took yeah, a like my brother's fuck with. It's back when I was living in my other house, and I was like, "Dude, somebody shit in this bed, and somebody's gonna come here and clean it up." Surely, I left that thing there for three days, didn't sleep there, no one cleaned it up, and I had to come to realization: I shit myself as a grown man because I am doing too many hardcore substances. Did you get a new mattress since? Or <laughs> no, you just clean the sheets. I steam no, clean the mattress. No, bro, that no, your that's, shit bled yeah, through your disgusting. fucking sheets. Unless you have a plastic covering over it. Like I was I on an air mattress. I, I was on an air mattress bed. at someone else's home. Okay, oh, now realize. the story changes. You shit somebody else's bed. I shit someone else's bed. It was a lady friend. She'd be all right. <laughs> if you're watching this podcast, get you a new mattress. <laughs> uh, yeah, the last time I took psychedelics, I took six hits of acid right before I moved here, and I got attacked by a cat. And it <laughs> fucked my whole shit up. I thought, there was a while where I thought I wasn't going to be able to come back from that trip. Oh, you man. You get attacked by a cat on LSD. Oh, my oh, God. Fucking, You're in another like realm. a friend's house cat? Yeah, it ruined my whole psyche. Yeah, I took a bunch of acid, and I think I was watching True Detective, and I was drinking, and I woke up on the floor, and my ex, <laughs> <laughs> this is like classic. <laughs> what season of True Detective? Yo, tell me it's first one. That's <laughs> season one. If it was yeah. season yeah, two, I'd go to rehab. Yeah. <laughs> season yeah. two, I'm fucking checking myself in. Yeah, there you uh, go. Vince Vaughn, Colin Farrell season. God damn. Now I woke up and uh, I had forgotten that my ex-girlfriend was going to bring my dog over. So she brought the dog in. So I wake up, the dog runs in, it starts fighting with my roommate's cat. And I got a head full of fucking acid still. I, like, I don't even really understand what's going on. So I jump in between them. The cat just jumps on my face. And fuck my whole shit up. I had that big scar on my nose. Oh, my God. So it beat the shit out of you. That cat yeah. did some work. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> it's like turned me like feral for like 30. I was like, yeah. Like, fuck my whole shit up, man. The cat. Fuck was it cat. one of those big, those big fucking Maine Coon cats? It was a big fat cat. Those big, the ones that are big domesticated cat. inside, yeah. dude. Big fat dude, cat. Them little, them little, they're like little cannonballs coming man, at before you. Before anybody comes at me, yeah. look it up. A Maine Coon cat or the fucking huge cats. That's what they're called. All right. I'm not. Oh, looking. he's saying the word. Oh, okay. Ah, ah, okay. Uh, okay. Whoa, just, Bobby. We get it. This, is, this, this isn't Atlanta, Georgia anymore, dude. Relax. <laughs> well, I just know that those are the big cats. No, those are the big cats. But you know what cats are tight, though? Those the little fucking, bald ones. The little hairless ones. The sphinxes. The is little Egyptian they cats. They talk. They only talk in Hebrew. Yeah, those cats are cool as fuck. Man. They know. They're, dude, they <laughs> no, know they're what we're Egyptian saying. goddess. They That's look like they're half human, half cat. You're talking about the ones in the hieroglyphics. 
No, but like old girl has a fucking like hairless sphinx cat. Like you know, they can't got and like you can see their balls and everything, like in their buttholes are dirty all the time. But what a fucking treasure. <laughs> what a treasure. Meow. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> Um. Okay. But what uh? What's going on? Any big shows coming up? I mean, I'm I'm supposed to have some dates in L. A. and San Diego. I want you to come with that with me. That's I'll know more at the beginning of March, and that'll be like mid to late April. But I want you to come with me, man. You got. I want to be on the road with you and fucking do some yeah. fun stuff, man. Yeah, I'd love to go. And we're gonna be. Oh, I, and I forgot to tell you this part of it. Uh, we're gonna get out there for that first weekend, and then during the week, I got another buddy coming. He's got permission for us to do an investigation at this haunted mansion. We're going to film a ghost show, and I can think of no better guy than the, the Acid King himself. I have a ghost meter in my book bag. You know, oh, my God. Get that thing out. Don't out. you fuck with me now, dude. I do. You know I got one on. Let's see why the energy is fucking funky. I always got that motherfucking attic, thing on me. Oh, Ash mode. Ash, Ash mode. mode. Rape me. Yo, so you said that's in San Diego where you're going to go? Or yeah, that... San Diego, and then we're going to try to go down to L.A. for the next weekend or a Thursday, Friday. Do you know what that place is called? Man, it's called like the Tuscalito Mansion. Or tu- it starts with a T. I can't pronounce it that well. Uh, but uh, old boy Brett, he's like, yo, I got, I know the owner. I got permission. All we got to do is play, pay the cleaning fee. for. you say it is? It's uh, San Diego. It's a big haunted mansion in San Diego. Just type that in. It should come what? up. Cleaning fee for what? So it's like a, it's like a, like a, a not a museum, but it's like a historical like pre- preservation thing like it's like from like the 1880s or some shit right. but I think it was an old hospital or something back in the day so people have died in there and they claim it's haunted it's like one of the most haunted places in California so I was told okay. but it's like just in case we're in there because I told them look you know well I'm not going to say we're drinking and stuff but that's that's my premise like when I watch ghost shows regularly if they're walking around and they, they don't find anything that's a boring episode but if you take comics in there you're getting fucked up you know obviously you won't be drinking but I mean like you know but like if I keep doing that unless I keep, I'm feeling sad yeah <laughs> Shout out to Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> I keep thinking he's going to pop up behind the stairs. Ah, come on, get, hey, get, Skeeter, get Skeeter Ooh, from Doug in here. Way, <laughs> get Skeeter from Doug in here. <laughs> the Whaley House, is that right? What is it? I typed in Haunted, oh, House, yeah. Haunted Mansion San Diego Whaley. W-H-A-L-E-Y. Maybe it's that, but I thought it started with a T, but I was on ketamine when I was talking to him. So I was Cleaning fee sounds like y'all's blood's going to be splattered everywhere. Somebody's dying. Yeah, right? Yeah. That's scary. Don't yeah, so anyways, we, we'll figure that all out, but I figure we film it and just, you know, oh, a night or two, stay there. Oh, he's really got a fucking... Oh, damn, might be out of battery. Oh, no. <laughs> Hold on, let's No, see. that's actually just how strong the spirits are up here. They have drained all of the battery. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's a zero megabyte. Right now. Oh, no. Dude. Oh, no. It's, it has no tar souls left. <laughs> oh, no. There's no tar souls left. Oh, here. oh, oh God. God. Casey, hold that Show up for the, the camera. camera. Let me get a crash zoom on that right oh, real quick. Man. Yeah, pretty easy mechanism. It detects all the EVP meters within a 100-yard radius. EMF, right? What There's is a milligauz? What's that mean? EV, EVP. It's the electro... electro a noise phenomenon. No one really quite knows what no it one, means. You know, it's ghosts. Are they real? Are they not? Tune <laughs> yeah. in next week. There's almost zero <laughs> Melagos in here, brother. What are we going to do with, with all this lack of Melagos? Oh, man. Damn. I, I, do, I think somebody was killed in this house, though, because I got it for a really good deal. Seriously. This is the Tate LaBianca house. Ooh. Uh, Damn, dude. Well, we hey, just, I think our, our house I'm standing with Dean's on it because that dog keeps getting trapped in Dean's room and we don't know how he's opening the door and how he's shutting the door on himself. And I've even done the test where you put the door all the way open to see if it goes all the way closed. That, that ain't happening. Like, I'll come home and yeah. I thought he'd be in his kennel and I hear him barking and I'm like, what the fuck? But that's a new house, ain't it? Relative. That's what I'm saying. So but the, I got all those weird talismans, those Indian Native American talismans hanging out through the house as like protection. Maybe I got the, the wrong maybe, one. Maybe, maybe that, yeah, because maybe that tribe... Is against the tribe that's underneath the house, buried. I watched Poltergeist, the movie, true. the Steven Spielberg <laughs> no, like, movie. You, you no, know, there's I, literally a no, spiritual warfare, warfare going occur- on occurring between the Comanches and the Navajos, and they're taking it in out in our living room. They're taking it out on our big fat blue healer bow. Maybe the dog's <laughs> blind and it's running into the door and shutting on itself. <sighs> you know, yeah, you already thought about there it. There it is. Okay. No, that's what that's what that debunked, <laughs> debunked, <laughs> debunked. <laughs> Be all right. I like it being haunted more, but whatever. Ghost stuff. But what about it? Yeah, as far as your own stuff, you got any hot shows coming up? Anything big in the works? Or did, were you on the OnlyFans comedy special thing? Did they select you for that or anything no, like that? I no, I wasn't on that. Yeah, me and uh, I think uh, Tony <laughs> Casillas are. Uh, it's a real thing. No, it's a real <laughs> it's thing. A real thing that's uh, happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a good payout too. I, yeah, I heard. Yeah. I saw the notes. Yeah, so yeah, really? really? Oh, dude, I walked into Creek. Damn. I walked into Creek yesterday to do Colton and M's podcast, and I saw the 
production value setup that there's probably over half a million dollars worth of cameras and oh, it's like shit. A real thing. Like it's a real thing. And I think what it is is they film the the, the fifteen minute a uh, little increment set or whatever, and they turn into like an anime series. Like you know, they <laughs> they animatize the comics on stage. Oh, oh yeah! And, but they're supposed to like post every like couple days a week to like they like have their own official verified OnlyFans account. Like Dean's on, I know Tony Castillas and Joe Bagley and some other. Ali Woe Ali- was on. Ali Woe, all them, yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, it's a pretty cool deal, but yeah, I walked in. I, I was wanna, like, dude, I would subscribe to Ali Woe for sure, but just not. Well, I mean, what, for jokes too, but you know, other oh, stuff. Whoa, whoa, dude, relax, dude, it was a dude. fucking joke. Dog. You're into dudes, dude. Wow. Relax, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Spoon man. Spoon man. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. What, what's what's the timer at? You didn't, didn't reset. I didn't set it this time because last time you threw a bitch fit about it. Okay, Gary. Yeah. yeah, where's Zach Bogus at? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, got, me he's and, meeting uh, us at Twin Peaks. What you got? <laughs> me and uh, Tony are doing like I think we're filming like a thirty-minute thing in May or something. You and uh, Casillas? Yeah, where at? At Vulcan. At Vulcan. Some the free things like Tubi or something or okay. Free okay. V or something. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I I, I did uh, want to say one time you were talking about Bonnaroo. One time I was at Bonnaroo. This happened to me two separate times at Bonnaroo. I took a shit ton of Molly and I got and I got lost and, uh, <laughs> and um, I was I found like this Asian man. I still can't really remember how I found him, but it was like an old Asian guy. <laughs> it's like I don't know why he was even at Bonnaroo because yeah. he was also alone, and it was like this sixty or seventy year old <laughs> Asian guy, and I was on so much Molly. You know when you're on so much Molly, you're just uh, you're holding the court. You know, like you're the leader of the pack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, like yeah. everyone around you is in your aura. Like we're doing what I want to do, and you're follow just, me. Yeah, charisma for day. You're just leading, and it, unfortunately, my only follower was this old Asian man, and so I hung out with this Asian man for like four hours probably Mm -hmm. and then i realized at the end um he said something to me and i was like oh my god he doesn't speak english and i and i was just hanging out with this old chinese man (laughs) and he said something like in chinese and then i was like what was that and then he he kept speaking yeah like mandarin (laughs) or yeah and i was like oh my god this guy hasn't understood a thing I've said. He's just walking around. Yeah, with he's you. just like, and I'm like, let's go see the big tree. It's covered in lights. <laughs> <laughs> Boys' noise is playing at the what stage? Come on, <laughs> and just leave this old Asian man around. He just, and then, like, as he departed from that fucking light tree, he just turns into butterflies and floats <laughs> off. Dude. Like, Whoa, Kung Fu Panda! He was inside uh, me all along. Master yeah. Splinter at his finest, dude. Finest Beautiful. Hour. That also happened to me in Destin, Florida one time. I was talking to this old fisherman at a pier when I was on spring break. I was on a bunch of molly. It's probably just meth. And I was talking to this guy as the sun was coming up for like an hour. And then I he kept repeating something. And he was under his breath. And then I finally gave him a second to talk. And he had been saying the entire time, no English. It was just it was an old Mexican fisherman. <laughs> he didn't speak English. No man speak English. Pascal. Yeah. Oh my lord! And I was like, "Yeah, for sure, sharks are crazy." But anyways, <laughs> yeah, it's like just not <laughs> listening. Oh man, what up? I just you know, I want to yeah see what, what they got. The the triple slam is on. But these prizes are from two thousand and seven, so that has gone up <laughs> since inflation for sure. It, yeah, there should be some good deals. The old tri- what is a the the pan? What is a French toast one in there? The, Double the, chocolate pancake puppies. Dude, who's your favorite comic all time? Who's your who, who's someone you like to see that you generally enjoy watching? Um, old, dead, new, here doesn't matter. Just I liked uh, Brody Stevens a lot. Yeah? Brody Stevens was probably my favorite. I like, uh, yeah, Brody Stevens was great. Hmm, talk about like stand ups. Whatever. I mean, he just is a funny guy. Sam Talent's great. Yeah, Sam Talent's yeah, yeah, amazing. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, probably Brody, Sam Talent. And, would you uh, take him to Denny's with you? Yeah, I'd love yeah, to. Right, I would. Dog, but that your whole like '90s kids thing is literally mm-hmm. like what does it? So I feel like yeah, as much as you like like comics, like you're fucking inspired by like the fucking nostalgia of the '90s, the, the whole fucking mecca of like Nickelodeon, Cartoon <laughs> Network, like all that fucking wild shit, all the things that shaking up the robot yeah, dust dude, and huffing it. the goddamn uh, yeah, bubbles at the top to hallucinate. Wild. You goddamn right, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's like all my fucking nightmares and dreams coming together at a fucking rave. Huff, <laughs> huffing diesel in a motherfucking just hanger. Getting, just getting, you know what I mean? Just getting ignorant. 
Hegner. Fucking Duramax Dave, dude. Du- oh, Duramax Dave, dude, with his fucking affliction shirt and his goddamn chain wallet. <laughs> yeah. What a treat. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Oh, Christ almighty. Yeah, yeah. you were talking about drugs that I miss. I miss Robitussin. I think it's something your body can only really process when you're a teenager. Like, yeah. adults don't drink Robitussin because it probably kill you or something. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I miss that because it makes you trip for, like, a long time, probably eight hours, six hours. That's uh, wild. You know, I never on the fucking figured that out. Instead, you never did I huffed, I huffed axe like a big idiot, dog. <laughs> like, we, I would get a fucking hand towel, fold it in, like, little fours, or keep it folded the way it is in the cabinet, and then just put axe on one side and huff it. Like, <laughs> as long as I could inhale, and then just fucking be like, Who you know is my I mean? fucking but, co-host? <laughs> not nuts, Christ. but I never knew the Robitussin thing. I, I fucking just hated Robitussin. I, I remember the Robitussin thing. I, I, I yeah. do remember that. Uh, I, I wish we I would, would have smart it. friends. We would shake it and, like, try to, the fucking, I guess, the bubbly <laughs> the part fumes. or whatever, but the fumes or whatever, and you're, like, yeah. supposed to fight it and you know, hallucinate, but I don't think it ever worked on me. But we used to do the, the, the air duster cleaner. works like that. What about spray How? paint? You ever do spray paint? The spray paint, we did the air duster cleaner. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. Turn it upside oh down and spray it oh, like yeah. in like. Oh my god! But I I don't know what it is. What's tripping on Robitussin like? It's busting on that Tussin, baby. It's a lot like <laughs> it's a lot like ketamine, but it lasts a lot longer. Oh, it also, fuck, Bobby. It's kind of like ether. If you ever huffed ether, <laughs> so it's, what's that like? Look at him itching. Look at Bobby itching. Huffing oh, ether is me. like. They do it in Fear and Loathing in Las yeah. Vegas. Mm-hmm. When it, it, that's a good way to describe it. It's it makes like you, a good that, you, you lose your sense yeah. Of balance. It makes you really slow, like. <laughs> you're like moving in slow motion and you can't talk. You're like a drooling, like bumbling. Like, yeah. <laughs> but it, it feels great. It's just like, it's hard. It's so hard to hard describe. To and it's been so long since I've done it. I think I stopped when I was like 15. Or you something. ever get the itch? Stop. You ever Stop get the itch? I got off you the ever, ether when I was You don't 15. get the itch. You just give it one last go around. <laughs> Yeah, I would. I, I miss Robitussin. I wish I could do that. I think you can get pure DXM, which is the chemical that makes you chip, yeah. pretty easily. Demoxicillin? Yeah. yeah is that demoxy- what it's called? Dexamorphin uh, or something? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you should make that up. Demoxicillin. Oh, damn, Bobby. Demoxrophilide? DMX? <laughs> Demoxrophilocene? Oh, I'm looking it up. But yeah, you can get it. That was great. Yeah, whatever. I loved all drugs at various points of my life. Sure. I love uh, the original Oxycontin was great. Oh, what a treat that I was. I love to take a couple perks. So great. <laughs> some, perk, some perk 30s or what, dude? Yeah, I just get in here. You're a wild, you're yeah. a wild motherfucker. Now it's all fentanyl, though, but I'd still, I'd take a fentanyl. Yeah, dude. I'd take a fentanyl. I'll tell you what. <laughs> i tell you what. what it's called. I'll tell you what. Speaking of fentanyl. Dextro. Dextro. That's the shit that's in Rebel Speaking of, yeah, speaking of fentanyl, more, the other night, this is actually when I was with Bobby. This is in Austin the other night. Uh, I broke the cardinal rule and bought cocaine from a guy I didn't know that well uh, at one of the comedy clubs. And uh, we had a group of us. You were with us. We did a little bit, and everybody was feeling fine. And we went to another bar down on West, and I'm, like, in the truck with everybody. I'm like, yo, y'all hot? Like, is anybody sweating? And, and I got, like, I got the AC on and everything. No, we're fine. I'm like, all right, no, it's just me. I'm, I'm weird. And then we go into the bar, and we order a beer, and I take one sip of beer, and I go, fuck, I got to throw up. Like, I could feel it. I went to the bathroom and started dry heaving, and I'm like, fuck, I'm dying. This is fentanyl. This is it. <laughs> but I don't want to go out there and tell everybody I'm dying. Everybody freak out because it's going to make me freak out. It's, it's embarrassing. Like, it's embarrassing. Like, yeah. Yeah, do yeah, drugs go better. Out, go out do like drugs a better, you pussy. Yeah, yeah. Dude. And I was like, go out like a rock go star. Go out so like Elvis. So, Lock the stall. Yeah. yeah. Just wait to and fade just, away. Yeah, just wait to see what happens. But I go out there and I'm like, guys, I got a lady friend at the house. I got I to check y'all later. You know? So I drive home. This is back when I was still in San Marcos. I drove all the way back home, like fucking dry heaving thing. I'm going to die. I'm like, look, I know in the top drawer of my bathroom I have good cocaine that I have done. I said, let me parlay this. Let's see what happens. And so. I fucking started hitting that. Narcan or anything. I, no, no, I started hitting that. Instantly felt better. I said, I'm back, baby. I wanted to drive back to Austin. But I was like, nah, I probably shouldn't. And like, so fuck it, I'm going to Dallas. So, yeah. <laughs> so I start playing fucking MLB baseball on the PlayStation 5, just hitting fucking dingers high off my ass. And I'm like, you know what? This is incredible. I'm glad I beat fentanyl. But then I ran out of the good cocaine, and I was like, oh, I got this shitty cocaine in my pocket. So I said, let me test the theory and see if it really was this cocaine. Did that cocaine. Instantly thought I was going to die again. I had to go sit in my bathtub. And so I went to bed in my bathtub, and when I got up the next morning, I started throwing up blood. And I was like, fuck, man. I was like, I need to go to the emergency room. So I went to the emergency room, 
And I was like, they're going to tell me, like, I'm drug overdose. And they go, no, uh, you actually have a stomach ulcer. And it's from eating that hot Mexican street tacos oh, right so next to the combat. Dude. So they fit on the fucking stomach ulcer from the Mexican food. Just well, like, it could have still been cut with is, something. Yeah. the story is, it's not as bad as they make it out to be. It was the tacos, dude. Yeah, it was the tacos the tacos tried to kill me, not the fentanyl. And the pussies. cocaine was so good, it numbed your it numbed stomach. It coated it. Yeah. It coated it. We got to That's the why I shit it. water everywhere I go. <laughs> I've got holes in my stomach. <laughs> You need the cocaine to keep going. I'm telling you, dude, you can't get off the bus when you're not there yet. You know what I'm talking about? You can't ring the cord and tell them to drop me off halfway. You got to see it through. Yeah. You punch that ticket, you got to ride that ride. That's right. Well. I'm yeah. Gonna... But I do need to seriously slow down there, and I have. I've been cocaine-free for eight eight days. <laughs> I mean, besides Kings Kingsville, but other than that. It's, it's different. Down it's there, a different though. county. Yeah, bro. You know what It's I out mean? of your jurisdiction. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, but that's like, like you can't just like go there and not, in, you know, indulge because it's just different down there. It's like familiar. Yeah, dude. Familiarity or family. What is that? Yeah, it's like drinking coconut straight off of the fucking tree, dude. You know what I mean? It's oh, like, dude, that's a treat. Yeah. That's a treat. I mean, it, it's like that. So that's why I even, <laughs> I, I, you know what I mean? I partook over there, but like over here, nah, I'm I'll good. tell you what's the worst. But I do these, like ketamine. These fucking things I, I think everybody knows that, though. These are terrible for you. I, I'll terrible. Sw- I'm quitting you. This is the last one I bought, mm. and this is the last I'm going to finish out. Because we're swung that cigarette inside. Feel great. Take one hit of this cough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got another cigarette? Uh, <laughs> I yeah. one from you? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. If you yeah. want to be on our pod, we're going to smoke our cigarettes. That's, uh, they fuck your lungs up. Yo, I know we didn't mention this at the very beginning. And this is fucking late in the episode, but we love the live chat. Y'all give us fucking oh, fire, yeah. and we love the fucking... Fire it's back. just great, dude. Yeah. You know I mean, give us something to fire back at. Like I know the they video, hate... Sub, subscribe, they hate share. laser on Reddit. God, they do. They, they hate, hate on Reddit too, long. Casey, or not? Have you ever... Re- do you read the comments? <laughs> yeah, well, I, <laughs> I just did Kill Tony once, and yeah, they were pretty... Yeah, they were pretty bad. <laughs> Kill <laughs> yourself! Yeah, dude, I can't wait, yeah. <laughs> they were yeah, just saying that I'm a cancer. Like oh, the, They called you a cancer? They never say... Like, when people don't like you, they never say, like, ah, it's not for me. It's always, like... Kill yourself. Yeah, it's... Yeah. yeah I wish that you never existed. Yeah. yeah. It's like, I'm they like, just don't want uh, you to... Be on Earth, yeah. No, and then like I saw someone come to bat for me on the on the on the sub. Be like, guys, he's still a human. Like, let him live. And I'm like, I was like, up the ante, you pussy. Keep coming. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't stop now. (laughs) Yeah, you know, I'm close. Fucking typewriter nerds. Fucking beep 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 beep. beep. No, I think it's all the comics in the bullpen that don't get on that night. They go home and they just fucking. Yeah. Nah, I don't know that to be a fact. Oh, they're just hiding in the zeitgeist, dude. Don't worry about it. Dude, the, what about the zeitgeist? <laughs> like you know that's everything. a German ro- well, German word for the word truth? Did you know that? Is it? I think it is. You, can you Google that, Gary? I'm pretty well, sure. you I'm read right. Mind Confidence, you? Yeah, I did. did. I did. Gary, Google if La Familia means family. Uh, on mistake. <laughs> 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 Let's double check that one. So we can just go ahead and lock that one down and move on. No, I, I, actually, I actually read Mind Confidence because I thought uh, it was the Bible. Like, by mistake. Uh, Common mistake. Z- that's a terrible mistake. Honest, <laughs> honest mistake. No, I've never Zeitgeist read Zeitgeist is the guy. defining spirit or mood of a particular period of history as shown by the ideas and beliefs of that time. It's like, it's like a synonym for a paradigm, like the like current paradigm we're moving through. So it's not a German word at all? Um, Zeitgeist sounds German, but uh, it's Or is not, it Latin? It, I mean, everything comes from Latin. Yeah. Fant- yeah it's, it's Sumerian. What about, a, what about La Familia? I don't know what that is. Yeah, no, neither do we. That so actually means zeitgeist. Yeah, right <laughs> full circle. Comes full circle. You ever seen The Lion King? <laughs> <laughs> what else, man? What do you like to do for fun? What, now that you're drug free, I feel like you got to find other hobbies, right? What uh, What's a good hobby that the Casey Rocket indulges in on a on a good basis? Are you into any kind of board games, or what are you into here? <laughs> Ouija boards. Uh, yeah, mostly. Yeah, just summoning spells. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, just like protection uh, spells and then like <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, talismans and shit. Yeah, just badass esoteric stuff. Yeah, I like uh <laughs> what, I watch a lot of movies. I watch a lot of What's your genre of choice, man? What 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 horror, are the horror movies? Horror, horror. Yeah. Watch a lot of Korean uh horror movies this week. So. Subtitles or no subtitles, you just take the risk. <laughs> <laughs> just feel it out. Just feel it out, dude. <laughs> I think I know where this is going. Yeah. They seem to be friendly. Yeah, it's yeah. all just the vibe of the scene. No, I get it. It helps yeah. you keep guessing. You know what I'm saying? When you don't know what they're saying, like who's act, the actual villain or what's actually yeah. going off. Every movie has a twist when it's in a different language. <laughs> <laughs> who's this guy? <laughs> uh, yeah, man, whatever. I watch a lot of horror movies. 
Uh, yeah, whatever. Do Grimace podcast. Uh, stare. Where's the Grimace thing come from? Where's it? <laughs> I know I've asked this before, but just for the listeners, the whole Grimace, the premise of the Grimace. Where does that originate from? How did you? incorporate that because I, I love it i think it's fucking brilliant but i just it's such an oddball thing <laughs> and but you fucking own the shit out of yeah, it i love it me and my buddy we went to high school together his name's pierce pierce rush and we i when i graduated uh college, <laughs> rush pierce we, we moved in together and we he was just talking about Grimace. We thought it was so funny, so we just started a podcast like telling the fake stories about Grimace. A Grimace. But the first time he brought it up, we were both uh, like 20 years old, and we were we used to have alcohol withdrawal, so we'd be hanging out and we'd just be like shaking. But we were <laughs> we were so young, like they don't teach you about like you could have alcoholism in high school. Like they don't teach you about like the realities of alcoholism. Yeah. Until, until you're in fucking until you're already there. Dude. You just until gotta you're figure there. it out yourself. Yeah. yeah. Like, what is going? What is wrong with me? Yeah. Um so we were like we thought it was just like panic attacks. So we'd be like, oh sorry dude, I'm having a really bad panic attack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Does anyone have a blanket? <laughs> um and we went to like fucking uh, <laughs> we went to like a Buffalo Wild Wings or something. And we were like so like Fucked up, like we couldn't even eat. We're just like staring at the wings, like just wanting to die. And we're just randomly, he was like, dude, what was Grimace about? And this is before Grimace was in the zeitgeist. Like now Grimace is kind of like a... <laughs> he's in the metaverse. In the he's in the metaverse now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's in the public domain. We were the first. <laughs> we were the first. We were on Grimace before anybody was on that shit. Yeah. yeah. And he brought it up and we just started like crying, laughing. Like all the the last drops of moisture in our hungover like yeah. husk bodies were <laughs> yeah, I just thought it was so funny because he he is just so what the fuck? Now, is yeah, that let me ask you: Is the premise before Grimace Barney the dinosaur? Mm, Have you ever yeah, thought about yeah. that? Is the premise before I Grimace? Think Grimace might have been around before Barney. Before Barney, yeah, dude, old Mickey D, yeah. dog. He's been a lot, he's been around since Ronald's been around, bro. Oh, yeah. that's the fifties. That's the nineteen fifties. In that's the nineteen fifties. That's the nineteen fifties. Who's the other one? Uh, Birdie, Chicken Nugget Birdie. Yeah, there Chicken Nugget Birdie. Everybody know. Everybody chicken hated nugget that guy. Birdie. You, you ever have a friend down. that just got the chicken nuggets and yeah, everybody else got burgers? He's chicken yogurt, basically. Yeah, just chicken peckers, grind it up and do it like a mashed potato. Yeah, that's disgusting. Brutal. The this worst kind of people are the people that go to the Mexican restaurants and get the chicken tenders, right? Oh, yeah. Gary looks like one of those people. Yeah, Gary's haircut. Off top. Gary's haircut is a chicken tender. What do you he, think about that, Gary? He goes, to, he, goes to a fucking, he goes to a fucking Mexican restaurant and orders burgers and fries. And crayons. Who? You. Yeah. yeah. You eat crayons for real? Yeah, I go to La Familia. <laughs> that means family. We could all agree on that. We could all agree yeah, on that. Yeah, dude. Ohana? Let's just say Ohana means family, my man. Oh. Worst, hey, worst food there is. Worst food there is to eat. Go. Uh, what, what? What, what's your worst food ever? What, what's the first food you just can't stand? Could, uh, could never have it. That you've had, tried, ate it, can't have it again. Mm, that's that's hard because I kind of like. I mean, it, I like I can't do fucking seafood that isn't bomb. Like I can't do fucking yeah, sub I, I don't like seafood. no fucking mid dog. That's just got to be busting. No cap. Yeah, no, I got it. I got it. I got it. Tomato sandwich. Tomato sandwich? I hate tomato. Yeah, the you hate tomato? Fresh tomato. Yeah. What about Gross. what about ketchup that comes from? You know, worse than tomato, damn pickle. Can't Ooh, really? stand the side of a pickle. Really? You know, like pickles, pickle. Huh? Pickle walks in the room. I walk out. God damn. <laughs> you know what I'm saying I can't God. stand. Some the side people of just can't pickle. stand that fucking smell. It you stinks. Know what I mean. I don't know. I like it. I like a good pickle. I love it. I, I love it. But people that can't fucking stand it don't like it. I like it. going to lunch with those people because they let me. They give me their pickles off their you tray. You know what I think? Dude, people. So a lot of people don't fucking like cilantro, and they say it tastes like soap. And I feel like that means that people's. It's a genetic thing. Yeah, that's it proven. is that. Really? It's, yeah. It's yeah. a proven thing. What about ass? Well, I like when ass tastes ass. like soap. Yeah, me too. I, I like do. ass. I like when ass tastes like cilantro. <laughs> here we are. We're figuring out some stuff here on this podcast here today. Grimace originated in 1971, by the way. Grimace is 71? What about Barney, the dinosaur? I'm looking. Damn. So look, this is our young Jay. I think Barney came this on the our PBS. Young Barney was like whenever, whenever 1992 jacket. was yeah. Barney. Yeah. 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 The premise of Grimace was not Barney. It was actually the reverse. The, the reverse. inverse. You know oh, what yeah. else came out in 1971? Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Full circle. Truth. Wow. Damn. Dude. The fuck? Wow. Have you read <laughs> that book? A he's yeah. a fucking uh -huh. figment of fucking Hunter S. Thompson's brain. Dude. That was the American dream he was searching for. Was yeah. fat grimace and his devious ways. Yeah. That is it. His dude, rotund his, body. His fucking lawyer in that movie rotund. is incredible. He's an absolute savage. The Brown lawyer, Buffalo. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He, he went missing. 
<laughs> yeah, he they never they, found they, him. They, I think he they really? killed him, right? Yeah, he went missing in Mexico. He texted his son. They didn't text him. This is in like 1980s or something. And he was like, hey, I, <laughs> he was like, I'm getting on a boat. Uh, full of snow, like cocaine, and then he just never came. He just never came back. His yeah, lawyer was, was, cr- was crazier than he was. Yeah, no, hundred percent, hundred percent. Oscar uh, something. Well, we are connecting the dots because I think that's the same boat that crashed in Alaska where that bear got hold of that cocaine oh my and went on a rampage. God, is that even going to be a good movie? Is it going to be a good movie or I not? I mean, hey, let me tell you something. It's going to make a lot of money, whether it's fucking yeah, good or not. Because it's on that Sharknado vibe. Yeah, you know but I mean? it's like, but but I feel like Sharknado was just one of those shit releases they put on the Netflix. This is going to be like a motion picture, like fucking, they're premiering in all the big theaters around around I, the I United States. I mean, I'm going to take a gander at it for sure, but. <laughs> I'm going to go watch it. Now it's either bit. shitty superhero movies or just off the wall shit like that. When's the last okay, time you saw like a just a yeah, that's a badass movie that was I just don't like going to the theater anymore. I, don't I remember either. when we were in middle school it was cool, but now you go and like and now you got mother- shitty middle school kids yeah, not shutting all, the fuck yeah, up. Yeah, fingering people and shit and I'm like, that's not cool. I don't feel cool being there. You know what I mean? Like I'd rather just fucking sit at home and watch Listen, it when it comes home. I get it. My mom will drop us off if your mom will pick us up. All right. Well, all right. well, uh, well your legal guardian. Yeah, my aunt. There you go. I got <laughs> I got the uh the info here on the brown buffalo. Oscar Zeta Acosta Born 1935, El Paso. Disappeared 1974. He's been missing for 48 years, 8 months, and 25 days. Son of a bitch. So they never deemed him anything. Never found a body. Can't find. Can't process something up dead if you don't find a body, right? You're Pres- just he's presumed dead. Oh, yeah, he could presume. Naturally. Because he's he would be fucking 100 and fucking something years old. <laughs> no, he, maybe he'd he be was like that 90. Little, maybe he was that little Chinaman that follows you around at Bonnaroo. <laughs> <laughs> We're coming full circle here, boys. <laughs> Connecting the dots, one riff at a time. <laughs> Where's a crab come from that named the crab? Is that the walk you do, or is that just, dude? I love it. I, I, I fucking, can't even remember, dude. I think I, I think I did that maybe once in Boise, and then when I came here, it basically started here. I just did it at an open mic, and the comics were like, "Hell yeah, the I was crab. Like, All right, maybe I'm fucking bro." Crab, as man. soon as as soon as you fucking showed up. Everybody was like, y'all got to come see this mm-hmm. kid. Because, you know, I mean, I was mm-hmm. coming to see motherfuckers. And then I saw you at the fucking, <laughs> what, what is it, the Hilton. Yeah, that's where oh, all yeah. the shows, you know what I mean? Whenever Bianca Oh, Bianca did that show up there, yeah. Yeah, but, so I would go, <laughs> and I'd go watch. And I would never forget, like, one time, dog, whatever they called your name. And, like, there was nobody up there. Then you just run across the room like a ghost. Like, I just started <laughs> fucking cracking up. Literally the, acting like a ghost. The best one I've seen with Casey when we were at the Secret Show. He did a set. And they got that fucking riser, that high riser for the band, and they had it leaned up against the wall, and he just falls back against it like that, right? And, like, fucking, you know, goes all the way down onto his butt. And when he gets up after he starts talking, the riser falls on him, almost falls. He dodges it like Indiana Jones. Remember you rolled out? Yeah, Indiana Jones. Like, he's like, I'm, he's trying to pick it back up mid set. He's like, yo, I'm going to need help with this. Like, this is heavy <laughs> as fuck, dude. But it was all, he just ran with it. It was the funniest shit I'd ever seen in my fucking life, dude. Yeah, like knocked his whole chair into the audience. It was a whole fucking thing. Yeah, dude. But Riff do what Riff want, dude. Riff do what Riff have to do. Riff yeah. do what Riff want. Riff Vaughn over here, dude. Yeah, God damn. Fuck. Riffy Buffett. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> didn't even. That's a stretch. Young Jamie, what do you got for us over here? So, uh, Hunter S. Thompson wrote that he believed Acosta was either murdered by drug dealers or was the victim of a political assassinations, assassination. Others have speculated that he overdosed or suffered a nervous breakdown during his trip because he had a crippling addiction to amphetamines yeah. and a, a um, predilection for LSD. So, Dude, stimulants and fucking hallucinogenics don't go hand in hand. It's dude. weird hand in hand. Yeah. I don't really like I, the combination. I, uh, I got a question. I got a question for y'all. Have any of y'all ever mixed the two and yes. uh, had like a really bad trip? Well, then it's anxiety ridden trip, right? Because you're just so fucking already. St- st- yeah, yeah, yeah. I got fucking naked one time and fell off the side of a mountain. Mixing those. Two. God, I wish you would have fucking <laughs> not terrible. recovered from that. I don't think I did. <laughs> I found myself lying on a cold floor, butt naked a couple times. Maybe you've gotten naked up. on acid. Bro, I mean, like, I literally have gotten naked and laid in the cold floor in a bathroom and turned the van on so nobody left. Hey, dude, and been woken up three hours later, dude. You yeah. know what I mean? They're like, hey, you been in here long. And I'm just like, yeah, yeah, dude. What time is it? You need to be out here by what, 3 o'clock? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, no, I got you. I got my eye on it. I'm good. I got, I think, I got, How long have been going? I mean, we've been, been, been slapping. Yeah, we'll do a little longer. Yeah, we're good. I need a fucking beer, dude. I, I'm craving it now. I need yeah, a little Kyle! Yeah. Kyle! The Skeeter! That's what? the last guy that needs to be getting us a fucking beer, dude. You, you know what's fucking the oh, wildest? The wildest combination is Adderall or or crystal meth. They're interchangeable. 
and ketamine. <laughs> if you do speed and you do ketamine, which might have happened to me that night because I was doing a couple of nose tutors. <laughs> but <laughs> if you do any type of amphetamine, so cocaine, it kind of does it, but not so much. If you do any kind of amphetamine and mix it with ketamine, it makes the ketamine like. That's a Calvin Klein. Oh, my God. Right? Yeah. Yeah, not that's, that but that's, that that's essentially a speedball, right? That's how they got Belushi. And no, speedball no. is heroin and cocaine. And okay, shit. I guess that's an ultimate. It's down like event. a psychedelic speedball where you're tripping, but you're tripping really fast. So you're like oh, you're like everything. You're like <laughs> like your thoughts are just kaleidoscope like, vision. Oh, dog. it's like yeah. schizophrenia. Have you ever yeah, done DMT it's though? Unbelievable. No, I've, I've never done really? it. Really, I've yeah. never uh, done it. Neither have I. I figured it all. I've out, never man. gone. I've I've never gone off. You want to know what I've fucking projected on what it, what it seems like is ketamine like a fucking deep fucking ketamine yeah if you do like enough work. ketamine it'll take your ass to a hole dude yeah dude. yeah yeah i've literally been i do i i fucking <laughs> felt like i was like helping like carry like the fucking stones that were building pyramids i'm serious that's and why I, your sleeves are cut off of that shirt and oh. i was like, this where my the shirt came back with me from that that trip. makes sense but I'm fucking dude. Yabba dabba do, you know <laughs> yeah, 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 yabba dabba do. no but I, I was literally sitting in, i was in i was in fucking brad's living room and I literally fucking went to a whole other place where I was like in the desert, fucking helping those pharaohs. The Sumerians and shit. fucking, <laughs> bit, yeah, build yeah, the pyramids. pyramids. Did you meet Eli Harper and he told you about sacred geometry, dude? Dude, <laughs> the interdimensional the, temple. You, have you yeah, seen? Yeah, he's talked about the Sumerian tablets where he talks about the seven Anunnaki or whatever the fuck it's called. Yeah. I'm, so, I'm so surprised he hasn't killed himself in Thailand. Either. Oh my god, let's <laughs> stop even fucking. He got his that toe energy heel. out there, yeah, guys. As I said, no, no, he's not. I, I let Sage I, I, out I think, here. I think Eli's fucking smart as shit. Oh yeah, he's a smart guy. Smart guy. If he was wasn't tall and handsome, he'd really have it going for him. No, he he is so smart that he's trying to get us all to fucking kill ourselves with him. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. He's it's like the part is it's working. Yeah. He's trying to feed. Him. <laughs> 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 well, shit, boys. You ever yeah. done uh, you ever done ketamine in a strip club? Yeah, yep. I literally, yeah, I did. It's I did it bizarre, Boise. Bizarre, dude. It nah, makes, it's fun. It's fun. It makes you think about the human form yeah. in the a anatomy. purely non-sexual way. Yep. So you're just looking at buttholes. <laughs> How did it get like that ring? Yeah. Someone wa- someone uh, once referred to a bottle to me as a pink balloon knot, and I have not been able to see anything else than a water balloon being tied together with the little tiny water balloon. Yeah, but that would water. be like an Audi. Yeah, yeah or like that, that sounds Audi. like a hemorrhoid, dude. Yeah, well, what, uh, what do you got? What? There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with a little fucking. Do you have thing. hemorrhoids? Serious no, I, question. I, I don't. Maybe all the women I've been with have, but holy shit. Bunch of hemorrhatic women. Hemora- <laughs> the, the hemorrhoids. Brutal. Hemorrhoids. Well, a fate worse than death. Anyways, huh? well, we've, been, we've been an hour. I think we're good, huh? We've, yeah, we've crashed on up. Yeah, dude, okay. you asked me five Great. times, so. Yeah. Uh, I want to thank my... Ghost meter was broken, so we got... Ghost meter, yeah, we're kind of yeah, limited on what we can do in here. Uh, yeah, there's poultry guys going on in here, so... But fucking... listen, uh, I want to thank my guest, Casey Rocket, for coming on this wait, short wait, notice. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Do we want to read Reddit comments? No, no, no. We'll wait for that. We'll let it get real big, and then we'll give them their shot at the title. Okay. I, I need one to physically show up to my house and try to kill me before I put them out. You know what I'm saying? Like that's my that's my golden plan here. Um, it's we're give a shout out to my boy Casey Wright coming through short notice on that. Uh, where can they find you? Where can the people uh, do and search you and how they feel? Casey Rocket on Instagram for sure. You got the podcast. Yeah, what Casey else? Rocket Instagram. Uh, the Grimace podcast is on Casey Rocket YouTube. Um, William Montgomery Show on YouTube. I have a Patreon, Casey mm. Rocket. That's where I post all my hot, long stand-up sets and other fun stuff. You ever do Cameo? I don't know if anybody buy it. I would buy the fuck out of that, dude. Oh, my God. It's a matter of time, baby. Matter of time. But yeah, we want to thank you for coming out. Hey, uh, this has been another episode of my Drunk Uncle's podcast. Uh, like, subscribe, do that. Like I said, if you want to bid for uh, goddamn sponsorship pods on the podcast, we'll have our numbers back, analytics, and all that shit here in about two or three weeks. We'll have some laid out for you. You can get on, get it while it's hot. But, uh, yeah, you stay golden, Ponywood. Make sure to get your fucking cat and dog spayed and neutered. We got enough homeless people in the city of Austin. Thank you. Yeah! <laughs>